This is CNN Breaking News. Welcome to our viewers in the United States and all around the world. This is New Day. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Fame Story TV, the channel that brings you the untold stories of those who left their mark on the world. Today, we remember and celebrate the lives of remarkable individuals who have sadly passed away. But today, we bring you updates on the unfortunate events surrounding. But before we dive into their incredible journeys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our daily stories. Connie Chiuma was born in Welcome, a town in South Africa's Free State Province. Growing up in a culturally vibrant environment, she developed a love for the arts from an early age. Her passion for performance was clear during her school years, where she actively took part in drama and dance. To build on this passion, she pursued formal studies in drama and the arts, which laid the foundation for her future career. Chiuma's acting career took off in the late 1970s, starting with stage performances that allowed her to sharpen her skills in various theater productions. Her talent and commitment quickly made her a well-known figure in South Africa's performing arts scene. Connie Chume became widely known through her roles in South African television, particularly for her portrayal of Mamokete Kous in the popular TV series Zone 14, which made her a household name. Her success wasn't limited to television. She also had a thriving film career. Chume appeared in several significant South African movies, including I Dreamed of Africa, 2000, and Black Panther, 2018. Her role as the mining tribe elder in Black Panther earned her international recognition, showcasing her ability to captivate audiences far beyond her home country. Her contributions to the arts have been celebrated both in South Africa and around the world, establishing her as one of the nation's most esteemed actresses. Honey Chuman passed away at the age of 72 after a short illness. Patty Yasutake was born on September 6, 1953, in Los Angeles, California. Raised in a Japanese American family, she grew up with a deep appreciation for her cultural heritage and a strong sense of community. She attended UCLA, where she earned a degree in theater arts giving her a strong foundation in acting that she would build on throughout her career. In the early 1980s, Yasutake began her career with various roles in television and film, including guest appearances on popular shows like Knott's Landing, MASH, and Cagney and Lacey. These early roles showcased her versatility as an actress, allowing her to take on a wide range of characters. Yasutake is best known for her role as Nurse Alyssa Ogawa in the Star Trek franchise. She first appeared on Star Trek The Next Generation in 1990 and continued in the role until the series ended in 1994. As a trusted member of the medical team aboard the starship Enterprise D, her character became a beloved part of the show. With a career spanning over four decades, Patty Yasutake has made a significant impact on the representation of Asian Americans in Hollywood. Her roles, especially in Star Trek, have highlighted the importance of diversity and inclusion in the media. She has been an inspiring role model for aspiring actors from minority backgrounds, showing that talent and perseverance can overcome barriers in the entertainment industry. Patty Yasutake passed away at the age of 70 after battling cancer. Patrice Lafont was born on August 21, 1939, in Marseille, France, and became a well-known television presenter, actor, and producer. Growing up as the son of the prominent publisher Robert Lafont, he was surrounded by culture and creativity from an early age. Over the course of his career, which spanned several decades, Lafont established himself as a key figure in French media. He started out as an actor in the 1960s, taking on roles in various films and theater production. However, it was in television where he truly found his niche, with his charming personality and easy connection with viewers, Lafont quickly became a beloved TV host. One of his most notable achievements was hosting a popular game show that he began presenting in 1972. The show, which blended elements of mathematics and language, became a staple of French television, and Lafont's involvement played a major role in its success. Throughout his career, Lafont showcased his versatility by hosting a wide range of television programs including talk shows and entertainment specials. 
His ability to adapt to different formats and engage with diverse audiences kept him in the spotlight and maintained his popularity over the years. Patrice Lafont passed away at the age of 84 after suffering cardiac arrest. Joan Benedict Steiger was a talented American actress who left her mark on stage, screen, and television with her captivating performances. Born on January 21, 1927, in Brooklyn, New York, Joan's career in entertainment spanned several decades, filled with memorable roles and personal resilience. From a young age, Joan had a passion for acting, which led her to study at the prestigious Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater in New York City, where she trained under the famous acting coach Sanford Meisner. This rigorous training set the stage for her successful career in the performing arts. Joan began her career in regional theater, quickly earning recognition for her talent and dedication. In the 1950s, she transitioned to television and film, where she gained broader acclaim. She appeared in popular TV shows like General Hospital and The Colbys, showcasing her ability to play a wide range of characters. Joan's personal life was marked by both joys and challenges. She was married to actor Rod Steiger, and their deep love and partnership were central to her life until his death in 2002. Their relationship was one of mutual support and artistic collaboration. After Rod's passing, Joan continued to honor his legacy while also forging her own path in the entertainment world. Joan Benedict Steiger passed away at the age of 96 after suffering a stroke. Gemma Blasco, a respected Spanish actor, built an impressive career in cinema, television, and theater through his powerful performances and unwavering dedication to acting. Born on July 26, 1941, in Vitoria Gastes, Alava, Spain, Blasco became a beloved figure in Spanish entertainment. Known for his versatility and depth as an actor, Blasco's passion for acting developed early, leading him to study dramatic arts. He began his career in theater, where his talent and stage presence quickly drew attention. His early work in regional theater established a strong foundation for his future success, showcasing his ability to portray a wide range of characters. In the late 1970s, Jim Blasco made the transition from stage to screen, debuting in film. Throughout the years, he appeared in numerous Spanish films, gaining acclaim for his roles across various genres. Some of his most notable films include La Comunidad, 2000, directed by Alex de la Iglesia, and The Last Circus, 2010, where his performances were praised for their emotional depth and authenticity. Blasco's dedication to his craft and his contributions to Spanish entertainment did not go unnoticed. Throughout his career, he received several awards and honors, recognizing his achievements and impact on the industry. His work not only entertained audiences, but also inspired fellow actors and aspiring performers. Chema Blasco passed away at the age of 82 after a short illness. Doug Sheehan, a talented American actor, left a lasting mark on the entertainment industry with his diverse roles in television and film. Born on April 27, 1949, in Santa Monica, California, Sheehan's career spanned several decades during which he became beloved by audiences worldwide for his wide range of performances. Sheehan's passion for acting started early in life. After completing his education, he pursued a career in the arts and made his television debut in the late 1970s. His charisma and talent quickly earned him recognition, leading to a series of significant roles that defined his career. One of Sheehan's most memorable roles came in 1979 when he joined the cast of the popular daytime soap opera, General Hospital. Playing the character Joe Kelly, Sheehan became a household name, receiving praise for his captivating performances and strong screen presence. His work on General Hospital established him as a standout actor in daytime television. In 1983, Sheehan moved to primetime television, joining the cast of the hit series Knott's Landing. As Ben Gibson, he played a key role in the show's dramatic storylines, further proving his versatility as an actor. Doug Sheehan passed away at the age of 75 from natural causes. Actor David M.G., best known to horror fans for his role as helicopter pilot Steven in the 1978 zombie classic Dawn of the Dead, passed away at the age of 77. After serving in the Vietnam War, 
M.G. began his acting career at the Pittsburgh Playhouse before moving to New York. While working as a chef, he was cast by Dawn of the Dead director George Romero as Stephen, a character who is bitten and turns into a zombie in the film. An image of M.G. as the zombified pilot later appeared in a book about horror movies, catching the eye of a young Simon Pegg. This image helped spark Pegg's interest in zombies, eventually leading to his role as the star and co-writer of Shaun of the Dead. In his 2011 memoir, Nerd Do Well, Pegg recalled, I would stare at the image of David M.G.'s zombified flyboy character. The film became something of an obsession for me. M.G.'s other film credits include The Booby Hatch, 1976, and Basket Case 2, 1990. Norman Jewison, the versatile Canadian filmmaker behind some of the 20th century's most cherished movies, including In the Heat of the Night and Moonstruck, passed away at the age of 97. Jewison's career began with working on TV specials alongside stars like Judy Garland, Danny Kaye, Harry Belafonte, and Jackie Gleason. He went on to direct a wide range of popular films across various genres, such as Fiddler on the Roof, Thomas Crown Affair, Rollerball, The Cincinnati Kid, and Jesus Christ Superstar. Jewison's work earned him numerous accolades, including the prestigious Irving G. Thalberg Memorial Award from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 1999. His films received a total of 41 Oscar nominations, winning 12, including Best Picture for In the Heat of the Night. Nick Mavar, a deckhand known for his 17-season run on Deadliest Catch, passed away at the age of 59 after experiencing a medical emergency at an Alaskan boatyard. Mavar first appeared on the show in 2005, working as a deckhand on the Northwestern in the very first episode of Discovery's Crab Fishing Reality Series. Over 16 years, he appeared in 98 episodes, serving as a trusted right-hand man to Captain Sig Hansen on the same vessel. His final appearance aired during season 17 in 2021, following a ruptured appendix that led to the discovery of a cancerous tumor the previous year. Anouk May, the iconic French actress who collaborated with renowned directors like Federico Fellini, Sidney Lumet, Jacques Demy, and Bernardo Bertolucci has passed away at the age of 92. Aimé, who received an Oscar nomination, is perhaps best remembered for her role in Claude Lelouch's classic 1966 romance A Man and a Woman, where she starred alongside Jean-Louis Trentignol. The film brought her international fame, earning her a Golden Globe for Best Actress. The movie itself won the Palme d'Or at the 1966 Cannes Film Festival along with a Golden Globe and two Academy Awards. It also led to two sequels, A Man and a Woman, 20 Years Later, and The Best Years of a Life. Aimé's other notable works include Fellini's La Dolce Vita, Bertolucci's Tragedy of a Ridiculous Man, Lumet's The Appointment, Robert Altman's pret a porter and Agnes Varda's A Hundred and One Nights. Andrea Evans the soap opera actress renowned for her role as the troubled teenager Tina Lord on One Life to Live passed away on July 9th at the age of 66. Born in Aurora, Illinois, Evans received two Daytime Emmy nominations during her career, one for OLTL and another for the web series Divanity. She was a prominent figure in daytime television, with roles on shows such as The Young and the Restless, Bold and the Beautiful, Passions, and The Bay. Shortly before her death, Evans finished working on her memoir, My One Life to Live. Jewel Brown, born on August 30, 1937, in the United States, was a renowned jazz and blues singer who performed with iconic artists like Dizzy Gillespie and Louis Armstrong. She was inducted into the Blues Smithsonian Hall of Fame in 2007 and received a nomination for a Blues Music Award in the Coco Taylor Award, Traditional Blues Female, category in 2013. Raised in Houston's Third Ward, Brown attended Blackshear Elementary School and began her singing career at the Manhattan Club in Galveston, performing with Elmore Nixon and Henry Hayes, and also at Club Ebony. She won a talent show at the age of nine at the Masonic Temple in Fourth Ward, Houston. As a teenager, Brown continued to perform in clubs around Houston and Galveston. In the 1960s, she joined Louis Armstrong's band. Jewel Brown passed away at the age of 86 after a short illness. 
Jackie Clarkson, born on January 17, 1936, in the United States, was an American politician known for her extensive service in Louisiana politics. She served in the Louisiana House of Representatives from 1994 to 2002 and was on the New Orleans City Council during three separate terms, 1990 to 1994, 2002 to 2006, and 2007 to 2013. Additionally, she served as the Honorary Consul of Lithuania in New Orleans from December 2014 until her death. She was also the mother of actress Patricia Clarkson in 2006. Clarkson ran for council member at large, but lost to Arnie Fielkow, fellow Democrat and former executive of the New Orleans Saints. Following Hurricane Katrina, many incumbent council members, including Clarkson, faced difficult challenges and some were defeated. When council member at large Oliver Thomas resigned in 2007 due to bribery charges, Clarkson won a special election in November, defeating Cynthia Willard Lewis to return to the city council. In 2008 and 2009, Clarkson supported Councilwoman Stacy Head in a dispute with City Sanitation Director Veronica White, calling for White's dismissal. Although Mayor Ray Nagin defended White, Clarkson was re-elected as council member at large in February 2010, narrowly defeating Cynthia Willard Lewis again, and was named president of the council in May 2011. Jackie Clarkson passed away at the age of 88 from natural causes. Tom Cruise was born on July 3, 1962, in Syracuse, New York, as Thomas Cruise Mapother IV. He grew up in a modest family and had a turbulent childhood marked by frequent relocations and financial struggles. Cruise's interest in acting began in high school, and he pursued it with determination, moving to New York City to seek opportunities in the entertainment industry. Cruise's big break came in 1983 with his role in Risky Business, film that showcased his charismatic screen presence and established him as a leading man. He solidified his status with a string of successful films in the 1980s and 1990s, including Top Gun, 1986, where he played the role of fighter pilot Pete Maverick Mitchell, and Rain Man, 1988, which earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. As of August 2024, Tom Cruise is reported to be in good health. Recent public appearances and interviews suggest that he continues to lead an active lifestyle, maintaining his rigorous fitness regimen and staying involved in high-energy film projects. In recent years, Cruz has been seen performing his own stunts for the Mission Impossible series, which underscores his commitment to physical fitness. Despite the demanding nature of his work, there have been no major health issues reported that would impact his professional activities. Cruz's dedication to maintaining his health and fitness is evident in his ongoing physical prowess and the high standards he sets for his film performances. As always, he remains a highly visible figure in the media and continues to work on various film projects, maintaining a busy schedule and a high profile in the entertainment industry. Thank you for joining us on episode of Fame Story TV, where we remember and pay tribute to the lives and stories of remarkable people who have left us today. If this video touched your heart, please consider honoring their memory by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. See you in the next episode.